Hey, welcome back to Puzzle Pride. If you love all things puzzles, make sure you hit the subscribe button just below. Today, we are taking a look at the caged spike ball puzzle. Now, the aim of this puzzle is to get the spiked ball out of the cage, and we're gonna take a crack at solving this right now. Okay, let's jump into solving the spiked ball caged puzzle. So this ball, is stuck in the middle right here. So what have we got? We've got two we've got two holes at either end and the caged parts just around the side there. So let's give this a shot. Okay, so I've managed to get three of the spikes out pretty quickly, but what I'm noticing is the actual ball itself, there's no physical way that it's gonna fit through that part of the puzzle. So it either comes out at a different part or it either comes out at these holes up the top ball is big enough to fit through those puzzles, uh, fit through the holes down the end, but I'm not sure the actual spikes themselves will all be able to get through those holes. So where can this ball come out? Oh, hang on. Not sure if you guys can see it. See that opening there? Not sure if you see that on camera, but this opening here, compared to that opening. Actually, this is a good camera angle to see that. So, see these parts here slightly in from these other parts. Now come over to this one. I'm gonna let you see all of them. There we go. See how that one just looks slightly bigger than all the rest? Just come back one. So see those lines there? They're in a little bit, these two are in a little bit closer. Come back here. See how they're right towards the edge. So let's try it from this exit here. So I'm gonna just try to get that ball out again. Okay, so we've got the three spikes out again. Now being a ball, we can twist that and get some more spikes through. Okay, so we got four out at the minute. Oh, see, if you can see there, the ball is actually physically gonna fit through those two bars here. So I'm pretty sure this is where we will solve this puzzle. So if we just keep rotating. Well, there we go, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spikes out now. I'm pretty sure we're very close. Oi, there we go. There you have it. The spiked ball has been removed from the cage. That one's actually really fun because if you're going through the puzzle and you're trying to get it out from the sides and you're trying from one of the smaller sides and you don't actually see that there's a door that's slightly, slightly, ever so slightly, a couple of millimeters just bigger than the other doors, it's actually, you probably could go by without noticing it and, and maybe look at your options at getting the ball through this end, the hole at the end. But just with how the spikes are for, formatted around this ball, I just can't see that there's any way that it would have come out through one of these holes at the end. I can see them being useful for maybe using the spikes to position one spike up there where you, while you rotate the ball. But just 
to put this one back together now, I'm gonna assume all we have to do is place the ball on top of the big door and literally just spin it. There we go, straight back in. You can see that right there. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this very quick video on how to solve the spiked ball puzzle. It's a fun one. It's good for people just starting out with puzzles and there's also a lot of variations of this puzzle as well, trying to get out different objects and whatnot. But the secret to this puzzle is the majority of them, you'll always find one opening that is slightly bigger than the rest of the openings. And that's the only opening where that ball will be able to come out from. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more puzzle videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and I'll see you guys next week.